questions I've long been asking is whether or not there is going to be a pathway to some kind of negotiated settlement or ceasefire. Up until now, it seems as if actions on both sides are resulting in escalations, not de-escalations. So do you believe, Victor, there is a pathway to some kind of talks process taking place now that we have seen Luhansk fall? Look, there's always a chance uh, and you know, a lot of this will come down to, of course, the calculations of the respective leaders. Uh, certainly the campaign has not gone how Moscow would have wanted it to, but they will, it seems, almost certainly be able to achieve these more limited objectives in the Donbass. And now then, if if Vladimir Putin decides he does want to, uh, to, to, to rest and recover his forces, then that's going to offer Zelensky a very tough choice because, of course, uh, if, if there is no particular reason to believe that any acceptance of Russian aggression or acceptance of a Russian ceasefire position will actually lead to an enduring peace, aside from giving Russia the potential to fortify its troops and fortify its positions and then maybe attack again in the future. On the other hand, if Zelensky doesn't accept any kind of offer, should it actually be made, then he both continues uh, uh, to be at the at the at the receiving end of, of Russian firepower. And also he does raise the risk of losing potentially in due course some of the Western support he relies on. Because, you know, uh, Western leaders are going to potentially be asking, well, if there's a chance now to stop the fighting, if there's a chance to stop the killing, why not take it? But, you know, if he does take that, that probably is going to be forced upon him and not going to provide peace in the long term. And certainly not on any terms that are going to be acceptable Ukraine. Indeed, and that is the big question, isn't it? So what do you believe Vladimir mm -hmm. Zelensky's next move will be? Look, I think that Zelensky is is almost certainly going to keep pushing further and further for Western military support, uh, which has been promised in large quantities that absolutely more is needed. I think a lot will come out of this Ukraine uh, reconstruction and recovery conference. Uh, as you mentioned before, there's certainly been an interesting proposition put forward of getting up to half a trillion dollars worth of seized oligarch assets and using that to, to help reconstruct Ukraine. I think very much depending on, on how much support Zelensky feels that he can receive from the West, both militarily and financially, that will really be the deciding factor in whether he chooses to accept any kind of a, a ceasefire offer from Putin.